Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. In the previous episode, we took out Grandpa Solomon Moto himself. Today, we have cleared stage one, and now we're gonna go to area two, which I have no idea who, to, who we're gonna face first, so. We're faced against Weevil Underwood using wood type. So let's get on going. That's, this is, like I said, at, at this point from now on, this is pretty pretty much blind because I only went up to the first stage. I have no idea what to expect. I have no clear memory of whatsoever. So let's check it out. <laughs> Long time no see! Yuki, if you want to get your grubby little hands on the tournament title, you'll have to go through me! Then that's what I'll do, Weevil. I'll take you on any time, any place. How about right now? Right here! That's fine with me. It's time to do! Weevil Underwood. He was basically an annoying character in the anime. Okay, let's see. Let's go with this. Hopefully we get first. What's our luck? Dude, we always get first ever since after Joey. We've been getting so many we get attacking first. Jesus Christ. We've under he's been an annoying duelist character in the anime. A returning minor whatever character you want to put him, but Are they all wood? One water. One electric. I guess the water is just there was is there to prevent fire types, fire attributed. So let's see. Let's check on the map. Not you. This guy's dead. So let's just check. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm Shell crusher. I think I remember having that guy. Savage fire. But yeah, if this if this is pure water right here, that that's giving the water type an advantage. Disadvantage against fire, earth, fire, wind, and fire. So they, mainly this is all grass territory right now. And by the time we reach there, it's gonna be water territory. So he's probably gonna leave the root water there. And also, I found a reason as to why. Like I bought those monsters and I found out the reason why I didn't have them is because I didn't edit my deck and I so it was the white dolphin, the larvas, and Pharaoh Imp. So that was the reason why I didn't know what, why I was unable to bring them out or have them in the deck. So we're gonna have larvas just to counter the the shovel crusher, uh, my level three flame viper, level three droll bird. How many more can I bring? I can bring out three more. I guess bring out the level three Karibo. Just two more. Who can I bring out? And then I bring another Larvas. And Kurama. I believe that's the name. Okay. Let's have my symbol right here. I'll manually place them. Karibo is just right here let's have droll bird right there flame viper amazingly ma mainly we could take out weevil good we can take him out real good all i want is from him is the larva mouth and the shovel crusher that's all i want from him i already have the root water i already have the root water i already have a penny moth still have not train it up but still, um, let's begin. I feel like I'm in a weird ass Alice in Wonderland, Wonderland play or whatever. It's time to start! Just by the music of it. What the heck? But yeah, as I'm trying to state before, Weevil on the Root has just been a returning character in the anime throughout the seasons. Um,. He's been... He was the first duelist that Yugi fought once he arrived at Duelist Kingdom. 
he's the one who threw out threw away the the piece the five pieces of the exodia through the ocean. He's like he's just a jealous little bug. I'll let you feast your eyes on my lovely insects. After his defeat in Battle City, he dueled Joey. He's somewhat been another trickster again. With his tricky ways, he's just a ge an, a little genius. That's all he is. Then what, what was the next thing after that? Battle City. Here I go. After Battle City, it was that one arc where Yugi lost his free god cards. But what was that arc again? I forgot. Something dragon. Enter the dragon or something, something, something. I don't remember. But he appeared again as another. As, a, as always, an annoying bug character who is just looking to become number one again. And then he appeared again in the other season. In the other season where... Huh. It's pretty much... They're pretty much in the corner. He was pretty... That in another season where, they, where Kaiba held the tournament. It was a Masters tournament, I believe, where everyone from worldwide competed and... We've all appeared again! Okay. Cockroach and the larvae moth are the ones. Not cockroach. The larvae moth and the shovel crusher I actually want to take out. Okay. I want to be careful, but let's just go over here. Uh, there's one thing I kind of miss about. Like, new Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the latest generation is Arc 5. Arc 5, if you know it, then you know it. With Pendulum Shaman, all that, it's just the dubbing, the dubbing f these past generations. The English dub, it's just, it's just, okay, so Yu-Gi-Oh dub, okay. Yu-Gi-Oh GX dub, okay. Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds dub, I'm somewhat okay with it. By the time they reach Zexel and Arc 5, it's been really weird because the voices are really just childish and hey, I don't think they would, they actually fit that character, right? Like today, I just watched the the, ep the latest episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dub, they're at episode 54, blah blah, 54, 55, and they're, it's just... It doesn't fit that character's personality or whatever, or the translation. It just doesn't fit. That's all. But here, it actually fits. Oh god. Okay, I was about to say, if he, that guy attacks us, we have been, we have been getting damaged here and there. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I mean, I can attack this one. I mean, that is the main goal. Okay, let's do this. This should kill. This should actually kill. I mean, what is what's special about this stage? I don't think there's anything going on. I think it's just only giving you some effect damage or whatever. Cause let's see. First one, it was just a river. Second one, at two corners, it gives you affecting damage. The other one, with Duke Devlin, there was pretty much nothing going on with that stage. And tell you us, it was just a time limit. That was your first, but it will definitely not be your last. Huh. It's all part of my plan. For what? That's my question. It should work. I think I'm, I'm just gonna get some experience out of this battle. I don't think I'm gonna take out. Wait, what the hell am I saying? I'm trying. I think I'm. Out, I will take out all of them if, if this if if Weevil is gonna become persistent. The most I know we got in this on um, each episode is mainly around 20 minutes. Uh, the first episode it was just a tutorial. Sorry about that, but it was a tutorial out of it, and it was just me getting used to it. And I'm trying to plan on my strategies here and there. Let's go here. We're gonna move right here. And I wanna move you here. I'm just gonna leave Karibo there just to protect us. 
And I think Weevil's just gonna move to that corner. I'll squash you like a bug! Says the bug himself. Oh. Like... HUH?! Oh, it's just because... Okay, that's really quite something. It destroyed my draw bird. Is it because of typing or what? But he destroyed my level 3. Or is it just because of the levels? That's why. Why is that? Okay, I did not see this coming. Maybe it was because of the area he just walked into. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I definitely remember Larvas in most of my game, like off screen, but in my own game, from the card. I remember his freaking. Freaking sprite. The cockroach knight, not really, but still. I think his attack points would be like 700, I think. He was like a level 2 or 3 monster. If that's all the damage you can deal, then my monster will not fall. Okay. Ah, shit. Who, 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 who? Why, why, why? Okay, Shovel Crusher. Oh wait, I believe Shovel Crusher did make out in the in the anime. Uh in the capsule monsters anime. Yes, they made an anime of that. In Japan it was considered as a twelve it was a twelve episode series series special, blah blah. Meanwhile here in America we consider that as a movie. And it came out on DVD and consider it as a movie. I think if I that's remember all the damage you can deal. And I think that I think I did own the first volume. Of it. I think I don't remember. I just trying to find if I can find. Wait, what's going on? What is going on? What's going on? I was about to say, how the hell do we? I'll use all my skills until the very end of the duel. What's going on? What happened? Okay, something seems not about something. Some, something's not right here. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah, we gotta scoop up the shovel crusher. But yeah, he definitely appeared in the anime. Uh, it was Tristan that summoned this monster. And frankly, like I stated, and during his during his gameplay, Tristan was a supporting character. In that anime, he actually had a role on actually summoning monsters, so that was quite a bonus because he never does anything besides being supportive. Ah, leave my critters alone! It's not really a bug; it's a machine type. Okay, kill off now, Flame Viper. Gone. Ass no matter what, so. But the thing is, that freaking petty moth killed. Okay. Let's do this. Does it live, or if we have not yet attacked? We have not yet attacked, so it's time to go on the offensive. If the petty moth destroys one of my larvas. Okay, I'm done. How and why? Wait, do you think having that is it because is it because of the freaking moonlight it gave his creatures increased health or is it or am I thinking of something else right now cuz I don't know what does this stage do does on the next turn the, the larvas will definitely be destroyed by the petty moth That one has had some high health. 
gone. All right, it's time to get serious. Yeah, we have nothing else in this turn because the Kribo's just there chilling. But like I said, we're probably gonna get, just win by destroying all monsters. We're probably not gonna get to that seal stone. So let's see what happens. He moves there. Attacks the larvas. Gone. We don't want to see that animation. We already know what happens. Okay, we living. We living. We living. That was a lot of damage, but it survived. And one thing I'm kind of, I kind of notice in this is that we play as Yugi, but. In most of the other games, we play as ourselves, the player, in this in the RPG game. Seriously, we've been mainly dueling Yugi in all other games, but this is definitely a game that 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 we actually play as Yami Yugi. We don't play as a character of the game or anyone else. I'm really surprised. I just really noticed that today. I just noticed it right now. Uh, let's move. Let's gonna move. Let's move you back. I don't think that's gonna do shit. Anyways, someone's gonna get destroyed right now. But I think I have my Kurama up there. This should be a good move, or else I'd be like, I knew I should have destroyed all those monsters. But right now, Flame Viper's gone. It's gone. Not only was a type of disadvantage, it was just in his favor. I know losing your army isn't part of your strategy. <laughs> so we're not gonna have him for the next turn, but we'll definitely catch up. And another thing that kind of that one reminds me, if you're the freaking old play or whatever, the Midnight Summer's Dream, this is what I'm getting right now. Shit, we're almost there. And then we'll move my freaking We'll move we'll start moving Karibo. We'll start moving Karibo. So that way we can at least tag team the Petty Moth. If we can. He's moving. He's trying to protect. He's trying. Okay, something's happening now. The moon. The moon. It's covered up. Light. Going back. It's fading. Fading. Dude, if only they freaking. Huh? Oh no. It's raining! What the heck? This is giving the freaking- Oh my god. This gives the freaking- I'm speechless right now. I'm speechless right now. I'm speechless right now. What just happened? Karibo? I want you here. He's gonna move this piece again. Wow, what the heck? What is going on? Oh no. Jesus Christ, why? This is seriously not in our favor right now. Why am I not there in the... Oh my God. I'm seriously not there yet, no matter how you look at it. Moves two up. 
but still attacks. No, it's still in range, no matter how you look at it. Fucking hell. He's definitely in range, no matter how you look at it. We're trapped. I mean, we can attack it, but we're in a disadvantage right there. I want the Karibo. Ninety-eight. What the hell? Uh, you're starting to bug me. That takes care of the freaking moth. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, it's a strategy game. You have to think what's next for you. We're just gonna we're just gonna fucking see what happens. We probably gotta live this next turn. Either that we can actually move and try to corner this guy. Yeah, we living. Looks like the rain's about to stop. Okay. Seriously, no matter what we can do, we can't get near it. So our only option is to defeat the freaking root water. Okay. So hold up. We're trying to get our way through. But there's no way root water can survive. Cause seriously, this guy can only go left and right here and there. So this is our only option right now, is just to kill the root water. Not in range. Is it like every two turns with this? Something happens to the stage? Okay, the water's decreasing. That's a good thing. I mean, it can be possible if we can take out the seal stone, but it only is possible if we have a, a monster that goes up and down, not diagonal. Yo, this will be asked if this guy just stays in the water. safe right now just wait there cuz he ain't gonna go anywhere we should be in range but now the moonlight's gonna be gone away Oh great, the rain's coming back. Oh yeah, we should definitely be in range. Oh 
not in range just yet. Not just yet. I think he's gonna kill the larvas. Cause he has he, he will be able to move two to the right or left, as you see it, and then attack. Oh shit. We living. That was so close. If it was any more, any, if it rises a little bit more, it would be his advantage. Okay. Let's go. I did 90. Definitely complete range, so let's have the animation, and that's our win. This will finish you! over until the very end. <laughs> All right, we got the bonus. Oh, we have three monsters remaining, Jesus Christ. We got, like I said, we got to scoop up this one and the shovel crusher. So make sure you hit that like button and copy performance. If you're new, be here and like to see, subscribe and destruct a 6TV, and I'm signing out.